Yo, Melly Mel, what's up? You. From BX to you all late fan. Fan. It's your man. What's up? This is for the gangsters. Shout out to the gangsters. Postman posted with them gangsters. My homies be on gang time. All my homies throwing gang signs. I keep it real, I cannot fake mine. This is for the gangsters. Shout out to the gangsters. Postman posted with them gangsters. My homies be on gang time. 1980s. They dropped the cocaine in the city. That obviously there had been a paradigm shift. Let's start with how was it in the 80s for you? Well, I didn't get to stay out that, that long at the beginning of the 80s because I came home from the pen in 1980 from doing a nickel from Solidarity. And then uh, right after that is when the cocaine started. They, they dropped the cocaine on us. At that time, it was a different atmosphere. It was the Colombians, actually. A lot of people not saying that, but it was the Colombians who had the cocaine. True. So everybody was working with or for the Colombians. Before the Mexicans, because the Colombians trusted the brothers. The brothers knew, the Colombians right. knew that the brothers can move it a lot better right. because we right. understood what was going on. And, uh, Everybody started making a pile of money, and then everybody started sectioning it off. Because you had different, now, drug cartels now. It's not the Crips anymore. It's certain sets were, say, uh... Crip slash cartel, so say, to speak? You want to say the A-Team, or Whitey, Whitey's Enterprise, or different... Third World. Section, Third World. Everybody was sectioning off. Cadillac boys yeah, and yeah. all this different yeah, stuff. Yeah, so uh, it, there was no... Or the Benzo boys and right. all, but they was all related to some set, so yeah. to speak. So it wasn't a camaraderie there anymore. It's whoever had the most money. So now we're saying, what you're saying is that if you had money, mm -hmm. you could actually be running the neighborhood, but you didn't qualify mentally to do that or, or physically. Is. Yeah. A lot of them didn't qualify in the heart, but they had that pile of money. So everybody wanted to cater to the man that had the dineros, the money. And that was the paradigm shift. And that shift everything. And then that's when um, when I got locked up at the beginning of that life fucking sentence, I noticed that there was no real fucking unity in there. The CCO had their thing, the Blue Notes, this other contract, this, the UBN, the Bloodline, everybody was sectioning off now. So I'm going, damn, this is crazy. So I wanted to get Compton back to where Compton should have been from the beginning, like it used to be. And that's when uh, myself and Gangster, Baby Santana, Gangster, we came up with that idea of the CC Riders. I said, we need to hook up the CC Riders, man. And we did that in the county jail. Before you guys even hit the pen. Before we because you got, knew what was coming. Got, yeah, before we even got to the pen, the CC, the CC Riders was getting put into full effect and uh, stuff, so, which, mean, which made them exempt from the CCO, and it made them exempt from uh, the Blue Notes because their CC Riders, they already have a rip cadre. So, this CC rider, right? How did you get everybody to ride on one accord? Because you, now you got you got Santana, you got Lantana, you got Nutty Block, you this got Southside. Okay, explain it. In the county jail, there's four rows. In those days, we used to go to the roof. One row at a time. 
So since I was a trustee, I can go to the roof with anybody. So all the Comptons that were on, say. Abel Baker, Denver, Charlie. Abel, they on the roof. So I bring them the concept of the CC Riders to that collective. And yeah, yeah, you know, they, they agree to it. And then I'll wait and I'll go with b roll same concept. They agreed to it. All the Comptons. Then c row and d row because I talk to them on a small scale so they can understand it, you know, the concept of it. How important was that? Huh? How important was that? It was very important because I don't want nobody to think that that I, I didn't want them to negate their set, you know. I said, you don't need to holler that out because everybody know where you're from. You're from Compton. You don't need to say that you're from Lantana or such and such. We already know that. C.C. Ryder. Yeah. When we get in trouble. What does it mean? C.C. Ryder. Compton Crips. Riders. Compton first name. Crips second name. Last name. Compton Crips. Our thing was we going to stick together up in the pens when it's time to move on the Mahanda or whomever it was, the Wyupees, we're going to get together and get cracked. How important was that moving forward before you got there to, it, to establish that? It was very important because you didn't want everybody going up there in them joints all willy-nilly. You know, oh man, I'm from this set, so I ain't going to help because we've been fighting on the market street. The whole thing was to make everybody forget that they had little fucking skirmishes and enemies and embrace that C.C. Ryder thing. That was more of a fucking unity thing to make them forget that and start watching everybody's back. If he's in trouble, you in trouble. If I'm in trouble, so on and so forth. That's what we did. And, and, and it worked. It, it, it worked because when I got there, when I got to 4800, mm -hmm. myself personally uh, came in. I think you guys were on Abel Row or Baker Row, one of them. I was on. The first I, sale. Downstairs? Yes. Baker. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what I remember. Okay, yeah. Baker. And uh, you and Gangster. Yeah. And they took me down past y'all sale. At this point, I don't even know you. You and him in the cell because mm -hmm. they brought me and took me down, put me in the cell with uh, Gangster Brown, the White Niblet, the White Niblet, and I think Crazy. So Crazy Pope. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm in the cell. I think it was an eight man cell. I don't remember. I think it's six or eight. I don't remember quite how. Man, it been six or was it, it was four? A six man cell. Okay, I don't remember who else. Because I remember the cell that the White Niblet was in. Yeah, he was down from you. Yeah. So I was in that cell, and uh, the white tells me, he said, hey, man, where you from? <laughs> Told him. He said, hey, man, you know uh, Marcellus and uh, Gangster, they the dog callers. So I look at him, I say, dog callers? The white said that? Yeah. <laughs> so he said, yeah, they the dog callers. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know them. That's what I tell him mm -hmm. all the time. I'm thinking about you know, I, at that time, I hadn't met you, mm -hmm. but I knew your name. Right, right. So I shook it off, and, and he and he didn't take it lightly. Like, like what? Didn't you just want to hear what I just said? It was like one of them moves. <laughs> yeah. you know? so, so he go tell Gangster, I believe, mm -hmm. and Gangster coming down like, who down there? I hear his voice. Mm -hmm. So when he gets down and he see me, he's, oh, this, and then the white light. Like like I was playing, you know yeah. what I mean? He ain't like that, you yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, we, like we, we, we got all right, though, you know what I mean? But yeah, but then later on, you came down there because you guys had all the candy, the cosmetics, yeah. and all that. The and white nibbler was, that was my partner, man. Yeah, he, he, was, he was, was a good dude. Yeah. He was a good dude. <laughs> he was a good dude. But I, I remember distinctly that when you guys formulated that, you guys made sure anybody coming in from Compton, 
you made sure that they were who they were, and if they were, then y'all would give them some whatever. Hook them up, yeah. Sit them down, whatever. Yeah. But they what with it? Yeah. Injection. We get them out. Yeah. So they won't have to get beat down. Right. Cause I didn't like that that beating down stuff. Yeah, and I saw that too. Yeah, I didn't dig that 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 crap there, and I said. Then you can go do your time in a fucking neutral module. I, and, and I didn't understand why oh. certain dudes would come down there. Not and dude, you just live in the neighborhood, dude. Yeah. You don't interact with us like that. You ain't got no business in there. No business in there. Cause that was the lion's den. But moving forward, <laughs> I think that and, and you correct me if I'm wrong. I think that 4800 was an intelligent gathering campaign for Operation Safe Street Sheriff Department. That's what they was trying to do, gather information. That's, that was the whole reason why they created 4300 and 4800. Because uh, they had spies in there. I'm pretty sure they did. You know, that's just like counterintelligence. Cointel, same thing, same crap, but on a smaller scale. Because I don't think they understood quite how the Crips was moving or how the, the Donald car was moving. They, because they was looking to, to to Rico it, yeah, if they can establish the structure. But they couldn't Rico it because they tried to Rico us a couple times, and uh, but the federal guidelines is different that you have to be. Uh, established in a different kind of way as far as moving money and money laundering and being hooked up with this cartel and that cartel. They really couldn't put nobody under the RICO Act yet. They began to try to use the RICO Act with the CCO and other so and that's when they was trying to indict people under the RICO Act. So, after you leave the county jail, what year? And going to the pen? When, 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 I think I left, uh, I stayed down there about two and a half years. I think I left, uh, 85. So now you hit the pen. Well, that wasn't your first time, of course, but. My second time. Second, second time. time. I hit the joint, but this time I had a little more time than five years. I had life. Where did you land? I landed in uh, my first spot. They had just built a new prison, a new level four. Back to my made. first point when I talked about the prison industrial complex had ramped up and started building prisons everywhere. Okay, that go. was part of that complex, that Tajiri Max, Corcoran and all them. So who were some of the first people you meet when you get there? Well, my cellie was uh, a cat from L.A., uh, Big Insane, from... Uh, uh, Insane's? No, from Playboy, Victor. Okay. Soldier, soldier. He's like six foot two or something, but he can thump. Shout out to Insane. Rest in peace, rest in, the rest police in peace. shot insane like 19 times, man, on the street. They dug him down, man. He was uh, allegedly coming out of a van, and they was waiting on him, just sitting there, just waiting. Didn't try to arrest him or nothing, just gunned him down. Just gunned him, man. Wow. Yeah. So what was your thoughts when you first hit the yard up there and what was um, going through your head? Because at this time, now you got the, the, the Blue Magic, the Blue Notes, CCO, UBN, Bloodline. You got, got every Jama. You got all yeah. this stuff. Because uh, all of them wasn't on the line there. Some of them were because I also, I knew Big James Miller. I knew James Miller like on the street. But I ran into Big James at Tehachapi Max. And he said, Rest in know, peace to Big James Miller. I said, so what's up, Big James? He said, man, I got some stuff for you. I said, all right. Because he worked 
in the gym. So he he got me some stuff. He said, hey man, what you come down here to do? I said, what? Because he had, at that time, fell out with some people. Mm -hmm. And he thought that I came down there to facilitate that. But I didn't, because I came from the county jail. He, he didn't know I... Uh, you wasn't even aware of it. Yeah. So I said, so what you talking about, man? And he explained it to me. I said, I'm not a part of that. I said, if I was, you wouldn't have known. I said, I'm not a part of that, man. That, you guys think. But I said, as long as me and you are here on this line together, I got you back. I said, man, everything's going to be all right. <laughs>